Hey guys, welcome to the video and today I'm going to show you how to edit your photos professionally on your phone. The apps that I recommend to you are both compatible with your Android device and also iOS. So don't worry about that and that's all and let's go on to the video. So many people ask me this question, how do you edit photos? So these are my photo editing apps. I have almost seven apps on my phone right now. The app that I use mostly is Lightroom. Okay, Lightroom is from Adobe and the phone version is a free version and you can get more functions in, from Lightroom if you have a laptop version. That laptop version is a paid version. So if you want Lightroom on a laptop, you have to pay for it. But on a phone, you can get a free version and this is there in both Android and iPhone. So, so this is the photo that I have edited uh, before and this photo I have taken from my camera and the photo looks like this. It's very bright, very overexposed and everything and the photo after edited is like this. Okay, let's edit this photo together. Okay, the first thing that I do is click on auto. I know it doesn't do anything anyways. Next, light. Okay, this is uh, exposure. So this uh, photo is already overexposed. Let's turn down a little bit, exposure a little bit. And the contrast, let's turn up a little bit. That's good. Highlight, turn up a little bit. Shadows, turn down a little bit. That's good. White, if it turn up too much it would be bad so let's turn it down a little bit blacks that's good and let's go to color because this is a slightly cooler color photo let's put it a little bit warmer and next tint it a little bit now that's good vibrance don't take it too much it would make it bad let's make it a little bit and I take this saturation a little bit also. That's good. FX. This FX and all is all according to your personal preference. So I like to take up the texture up a little bit. So it gives a little bit of texture of your subject. Clarity, just a little bit, not too much. It would ruin the picture if you take it too much. Just slightly. And dehaze. So dehaze is a setting for your picture that you have taken maybe outdoors like a nature picture days is a good setting but for this picture it's not good so let's take it down to zero so wicked it let's take it a little bit down make it black midpoint with uh, rounders too now this picture is becoming a little bit better green yeah green is another recall element Okay, nowadays more so many photographers like graining or putting some of the green effects on the picture yeah it gives a good effect and it also gives a good picture also so um, if you want you can take it a little bit if you want you can put it just a little bit not too much too much would make your picture too grainy okay. a little bit not too much yeah that's good roughness if you want to adjust you can do that's for your green detail okay let's sharpen a little bit okay let's go down let's go to noise reduction okay noise reduction is when uh, if you take a picture and the picture is too grainy you can take other noise reduction at least a little bit so it makes or smoothens that graininess into a good plain picture one thing you do not take up the noise reduction too much if you put it to 100 percent a photo will look like a watercolored photo see like this so let's take it a little bit at least below 50 percent this is at least 20 is good this is good it's 33 is good detail is a little bit contrast we want a little bit color noise production also there is the thing like it's for a color of our subject so this is a little bit and that's it it's a perfectly smooth great image that you got this image before and this image after. 
how is it good right another thing is dark room okay dark room isn't there in android so sorry all android users if this is just a it's the same thing you can edit over here also all editing if you want and also you can get filters over here all filters and some of the filters are paid so for those people who want paid filters then if you don't want to pay for it swipe down screenshot the filter a good idea right so the next app is snapseed because snapseed is an app by google it's a very good app for editing photos so this is a photo that i've taken in my backyard and it have to be edited a little bit so let's do it together first tune the picture let's take it down a little bit brightness that's a good thing details a little down and curves that I don't need temperature let's put it a little warmer as this picture is cool and crop no need rotate no need perspective no need expand no need Selective is like select like select or object or select a place and you can the brightness and stuff on that designated place to select the good setting. Next to is brush and healing. Healing is like if you have any bruise on your face, you can heal that bruise with this healing uh, editing thing. HDR scape, it's a good thing. So if you take nature, it's like too HDR ish for this picture. So for that I'm taking people. Let's take a little bit down and now it's correct thing for this picture. And glamorous glow is for making your picture very smooth. So I don't need that. Contrast is another thing you can do. So many contrast settings over here. And this drama, all the dramatic filters over here. And um, vintage, yeah, this is me my most favorite filter in this app vintage is like you can get so many vintage filters in this app so here for this image i would take this filter it's like a bluish filter all this filter which i should i take this or this so for this picture this is perfect this is too bright over the flower uh, part let's decrease let's decrease brightness a little bit yeah that's perfect and there is film filters like this, filmic filters, film retro filters, black and white, noise, many filters are there. And there's another thing called lens blur. So if you want to blur your background, you can take this um, tool. So do not blur your background at the highest, like 100% it would make a picture bad. So at least make it at least below 50%, almost 20, 30 is great. See how this looks better, right? better and the last setting that i want to do is net with net yeah makes put it down and that's perfect and yeah that's it i can do double exposure text and frame if you need it for this picture i don't need it so i'm skipping that this is now a perfect picture how it's before and how it's after how is it so, the, so this is the power of editing your photos so so every app so every editing apps are good so one thing you have to do is learn how that app works and eventually you will get to know how to edit your photos in a professional way and that's it and i'll talk to you next video and a sub to your channel will be incredible like the video and comment down below what video do you want the next? And I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.